as you learn more about programming, you obviously want to get some input from the user. So uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about a scanner object. That's one way to get input from the user uh, in your class or your program. And so the way I would do this uh, is it's to create an object. Now, if you don't know anything about objects in Java programming, then this is going to be, I won't say confusing, but you won't understand while I'm, why I'm doing what I'm doing. So at this point, you have to accept that this is the way it's done, and it doesn't really make a lot of meaning in your head, probably, until you understand objects completely. So the way that you're going to do this is you are going to create what's called a scanner and you can think of this basically like a scanner you'd have like a printer fax scanner uh, at home or in the office uh, because it's going to basically read or scan what the user types in okay now once you type scanner and you're going to get ready to build it you have to name it now the name of my scanner is just going to be hendermonger okay so that's going to be the name of my scanner just like you name variables you name variables like int x equals three Okay, that's great. Uh, but here, I'm going to call my scanner Hendermonger, and I am actually building an object, a scanner object, something that will physically scan what the user types. So I've named it Hendermonger. Now, in order to actually build it, I need to put the word new. Notice it in my screen, it turns blue because it's a reserved word. And what I need to do is I need to create a new scanner. Okay, so this is just saying, hey, there's going to be a scanner. Make room for a scanner called Hendermonger, and then make a new scanner. And what the scanner needs to do is it ne needs to take in information. Uh, and the way that it, the cor correct syntax or the way we type that is do we type system.in, uh, okay, just to get user information from the system. So this is the correct line of code that I need. And notice I have an error here uh, because the scanner object is something that is already in the Java library that we just need to go find it in the library and the way that you use or access the scanner object code if you will which is already pre-written for us is we need to add an import statement if you're not familiar with import statements basically it's a way for us to go grab code or Java code that's already been written in the library and to utilize it and that's what we're trying to do is use a scanner but we haven't told our program where to find the scanner in the Java library so we need to import uh, Java library dot util for utility think of a scanner as a utility uh, a tool that you would use and I'm just gonna do dot asterisk here it's like a wild card just says grab everything in the utility box of the Java library so we grab all the utilities and we import them into our program and now notice my error is gone because my program now knows what a scanner is. It's a utility found in the Java library. So I've built this scanner sitting here in my program ready to scan user input. And so just to prove or to show you what's happening here, I'm going to create an integer variable x and I'll set it equal to 4. And I'm going to put an output statement here that just says um, x equals and then just to access the variable I'll do that x equals x and this is not difficult of course but when I run this it's going to show me that x equals 4 right now and that's great that's what I want but what I want is I want the user to tell me what x is and the way I do that is I need to grab my scanner so I need to grab my scanner. Now remember, my scanner is called Hendermonger. So I need to call it. You call it by name. Just like if you want your dog to come to you, you would call your dog's name. If you want your cat, call your cat's name. If you want your mom or your dad, you call their, their name. Mom, dad. Uh, and so I need to call it by name. I go, Hendermonger, I'm calling you. I need you. Okay, and then I go, dot. Now, I need to decide what it is I want from the user and I'm going to discuss three main things in this video uh, I may want them to type a number like I do right now and the way I do that is I need to type next int like this okay so what that says is Hendermonger I want you to scan in the next integer that the user types and that's great but what I want is I want to scan it and I want that to become my x value so I'm gonna set x equal to whatever that scan is this line of code right here 
will set x equal to whatever my scanner finds the user to type the next integer they type and so I will also put an output statement here and I'll put now x equals and then it will be rewritten it'll be written over in this line of code right here so I'll run this and before I run it here's what happens x starts as 4 it outputs x equals 4 it waits it says hey I'm gonna find out what the user types if they're gonna type an integer I'm gonna grab it and then I'm gonna make that equal to x okay, and then I'm just gonna print x equals the new number now x equals a new number so I'll run this and notice here that the the program is going to stall okay now if I look down here it says x equals 4 and there's nothing else showing up but if I click down here okay in different places obviously I'm, I'm getting a cursor and it's actually sitting here waiting and that's one of the issues I see beginning programmers have is they don't actually give the user or the operator directions so I'm gonna put here some directions um, what would you like or here I'll put uh, enter will be more clear enter an integer like this okay and in this case I don't want an LN and I'll show you why in just a second and now I'll run this run this code through here so here we are x is 4 enter an integer so it has printed this line of code enter an integer and it's waiting the scanner is just waiting for you to type a number an integer and so I will type in an integer like 7 and if once I type it this code will be completed it's gonna scan it it's gonna dump it into the number 7 and it's gonna say now x equals 7 and so the second I hit enter here there it is it says now x equals 7 so that's your basic scanner and how you grab an integer uh, from the user of course I could change this to next double and this would actually have no, well, I guess the the issue I would have at this point is that x is an integer, and remember, if you're grabbing a double and you dump it into an integer, you have a problem. And here's my error here: incompatible types. You'll lose uh, conversion there if you were to type something in. And when I run this thing, notice I get this runtime exception uncompilable source code because I have that issue. Now if I just go up here and change this to a double and I'm defining that as a decimal and then I'm going to grab a decimal, that's fine. There are no problems there. So when I run this, now notice what's going to happen here, hopefully this makes sense to you, is that I, I set it equal to 4 but x is a double so it actually displays 4.0, it's a decimal. And even if I enter an integer here, like 7, it's still going to tell me it's now 7.0 because I grabbed a double, so it, it will be 7.0. Okay, now if you want to grab a string, um, we uh, you would think that it would be next string, but it's actually not. It actually is next line. That's one way to do this. It's grab the next line of code, whatever the user types. And of course, I have an error here because x is not a string. So maybe I'll do this, string x, and it obviously can't equal 4. We'll just leave it like this. Or set it equal to um, Java. Okay, okay, It will be x is Java to begin with. So we'll just print x equals Java and enter an integer. Maybe we'll instead we'll put enter a word. Okay, or maybe I'll put one word just to be more clear. Enter one word for now. And we'll reassign x to um, whatever the user types and we'll display it that way. So when I run this line of code, it says x is Java. Enter one word. I'm going to go with pizza and now x equals pizza because we had overwritten this x value right here Okay, now that's pretty much how you need to grab user input using a scanner object and just the basics and the foundation hope that helps you understand the scanner objects a little bit and how to implement it there are a lot of little irritating errors that can happen and a lot of things that can occur here but the main idea is you, for, you need to build the scanner and this is really your line of code. The only thing you have to change when you build your own scanner is to change the name of the scanner. And honestly, you don't have to change it, but why not make it something fun, something interesting, or be unique? Okay, and then when you use it, you just call it by name and 
tell it what you want. You want a number, you want an integer, you want a double, or you just want the whole line that they type. Okay, just don't forget, in order for the scanner to work, you have to go to the Java library and import the utility. And you should be good to go. So experiment a little bit, and you might run into some problems, but the more you experiment, the more you learn, and the better off you will be.